Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad you're here. Music with Todd Ledbetter. And we are back with some Opeth. And we are going to be checking out uh, their very first album. We've already, oh, it's called Orchid. And it was released in 1995. And there's eight songs. And it's an hour and 11 minutes long with eight songs. And that's because... Uh, we are at Forest of October, which is 13 minutes long. <laughs> and then there's another one that's 11 minutes long, and then another 13 minute long song. So we, they got some long songs. The first one was 14 minutes long. So that's where we're at, though. We're at track number four out of eight, and we are at Forest of October. So we're going to get right into it. Um, we've already done um, In the Mist She Was Standing and Under the Weeping Moon and Silhouette. So if you want to hear those songs, all you got to do is just go to my search on my channel and click uh, Orchid and it'll show you all the songs I've done for this album. So um, that's a really easy way to do it. So let's get right into Forest of October. <laughs>
great song. Really good song. I just uh, I was just thinking, okay, so that's 1995. That's 26 years ago. I mean, that's almost like half my life ago. I mean, I'm older than that. It'd be double 26. But, um, you know, just thinking back at 1995 and, um, you know, what was going on back then and what was I listening to? I'm not even sure. You know, it's kind of probably coming out of the grunge thing and... Um, uh, or I'm uh, probably in it, probably in like grunge and just listening to radio at, w you know, at work. I was, I was in the middle of, uh, like doing my wood shop and my, I had a retail custom manufacturing retail store and a, and a big, huge wood manufacturer, you know, where I made the furniture warehouse and, and wood shop. But, um, you know, so it'd be a lot of radio back then. I would buy CDs and I remember hearing about Opeth, but I never really listened to them. Uh, but I remember hearing about them and people really liked them. And I can see why, too, because um, but I didn't realize the um, complexity that Opeth was. All I kind of heard was the screams and I wasn't really into it or the, the harsh vocals at the time uh, at, in 95. Uh, you know, my son was only three years old, you know, so it was still several, 10, 10 more years before I really, he started introducing me to some of that kind of music where I started getting, you know, more, uh, familiar with what was going on with that type of, you know, with, with the different types of harsh vocals and stuff like that. The, but this, see, I didn't know that it had like these acoustic transitions and it was really cool when it just broke down to the single guitar just playing that lead line and just just playing that you know re repetitively or repeatedly to the point where you know you're just into it you're just flowing with it you know um it, above and beyond like the acoustic breakdowns and just using that and then you got you know a little bit of harsh vocal a little bit of um uh, uh, regular vocal, but out of that 13 minute, 14 minute song, most of that was instrumental, you know, most of that was instrumental, uh, frankly. And the only thing, well, not the only thing, but one of the main things that kind of turns me away, probably from this kind of music back then too, and that includes, uh, bands like Metallica and things like that is the production. Um, because I'm a bass player they it's like the bass was almost like not like a thing almost it seems like in a lot of this kind of music they just bury it in the track uh so you can really hear that crunchy guitar and that speed guitar um you know and i liked stuff that had more bass and so uh, i noticed that about some of this music and uh, some of the bands even talk about it now, you know, and they've gone back and remastered their albums and pumped up the bass a little bit, you know, to give it more uh, punch. And just it just seems like I, I don't know why that was kind of a trend back then. But, um, you know, and you can hear sort of the the techniques of the production in this this album. But that song sounded good. That song sounded really good. And I can see why people were really drawn to Opeth you know, when they first came out, because. You know, it wasn't just all just, you know, thrash metal, you know, just, you know, just going, going, going. There's there was transitions and there was a melody and it was melodic and there was like a little bit of everything, you know. Um, that was really a good song off, you know, especially for their off their first album. Like, you know, you can really hear, you know, the band. You know, it's just like in their infancy, they must have been kids. They must have been 21 years old or something. And, and also, uh, is it is it all the original members back then or was there some changes at some point? If if you know about that, uh, I'd be interested to know if, you know, they stayed with the same members all the way through or not. It seems like it's a pretty hard thing to do, but it can be done and it is done. And and uh, I'm just wondering 
But uh, I, I like that song. That's probably my favorite song off the album so far, uh, so far. And I'm only four songs in. So uh, definitely an epic. It didn't, you know, it just went by in a blink of an eye. It's weird how 14 minutes of your life can go by and you're in bliss the whole time. It's kind of a good way to spend it, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please do. I'm like less than 10% of you guys that listen to my videos are so actual subscribers. And even less than that, click the notification bell and click the all button. So um, we would really uh, build this channel to get this music out to even more people that haven't heard it like me, you know. Uh, so many times I've been playing songs that you guys requested and people say i've never heard these guys before this is cool i want to hear more what else do they have and even to the point where i went out and bought the album it's really cool so i mean it's you know it's just a big promotion for these bands that are already big you know uh but uh it's also really fun to hear the music i i just love music so i love sitting there just listening to music and chilling out and why not do it like this, you know, with you guys and, and get some input from you guys. Like what, cause it's hard to know where to go, what to listen to. It's like, I have no idea where to go. I could be hunting for stuff. I mean, I've gone through Spotify stuff and it's like, no, I don't like that. No, I don't like that. You know, it's hard to find stuff. So when you guys know the good stuff, it makes my life a lot easier. That's what I'm looking for these days. I'm looking for the easy life, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. But anyways, do subscribe, please. And let's get this music out there and uh, just for other people that haven't heard it. And also, uh, if you're interested in helping out the channel, uh, there are many ways to do that. Please check out my Patreon. And also I have a merch store and there's other ways you can just donate PayPal, Ko-Fi, whatever, buy me a coffee or a beer or something. There's things in the description that you can uh, do that would really help out and kind of keep me, uh, keep me afloat and helping me to, uh, bring this music, uh, and do this. I mean, it's not, it's not like you need to or anything like that. I'm just saying if you enjoy it and you want to help out with a couple bucks, it's, it, it would be appreciated, but, uh, that doesn't spoil the fun if you don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> The fun is still here to be had. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video and down in the comments too. So make sure you let me know maybe uh, where you were in 1995 when this came out and how you felt about it. I'd be interested to hear that too. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You're also great. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.